Gibson Reedy here with the Clarion News. Now here's the deal. I got a whole lot of information for you that has just been rolling out today, but I don't have a whole lot of exciting clips, so bear with me, but this information is very important. Now I'm going to start from the beginning. Today, students and teachers showed up for what they were expecting was going to be a very tense day leading up to the teacher strike. They saw security guards standing outside, hired by the district in front of Cleveland, but we have learned that after 23 hours of negotiation, the district and the teachers union have come to a verbal agreement. Now that's the key word verbal agreement. They should be at this very moment this afternoon trying to get that verbal agreement onto paper. They're sitting down together writing that out. They're going to try and come up with the written contract. So what this means is that yes technically the strike is off but that doesn't mean that there isn't going to be a strike. Now here's what has to happen. They have to get that agreement on paper, like I said. The teachers have to view it. They have to read what is going on, what is being said, what has been changed. Then the teachers will vote to see if they accept the new terms. If they do not agree with the new terms, then a strike will begin immediately. So originally everyone was preparing for a strike on Thursday. That probably will not happen. It will probably take everyone a few days to sit down, review it, and vote. But if something goes wrong, a strike will happen immediately. So there won't be any warning. So we do have a few tips now. We want everybody to know the high schools will be closed. And if the high schools ever reopen, which is highly unlikely, your parents do have the right to send you to school. They can keep you home. That probably will not be a concern. The high schools during a strike will probably not open. The teachers will be picketing in front of their schools from about 8 to 12 in the morning and then they'll go to other places around the city to picket. But as we are saying, not on Thursday. This might happen sometime next week. It might not happen at all. Again, the teachers are going to have to sit down, look at what is being changed, vote on if they like it or not. But I've been talking with teachers today they have and signs ready to go. Their things are still packed. And tomorrow we were on a short day schedule. That is going to remain because teachers uh, are hopefully going to be unpacking and putting their posters up in their walls, their books back. But we can't say that for sure again. So tomorrow will be that original schedule so that teachers can unpack their stuff. But we want to stress that you should be ready for a strike at any point. We can all relax once we hear that both sides have had a written agreement and the teachers have had a majority vote for that new contract. So as of now, we are back to where we were just a few weeks ago. We are on standby, which no one likes. But, you know, the tension here a little bit less. Uh, people are very optimistic. The teachers are optimistic. The students at this point are a little upset that they're not going to get some time off from school. But remember, guys, it, a strike is a bad thing. So it is a good thing that you will be on school at school at the end of the week. And if anything more, if we get any more information, we're gonna be updating you. Originally, this video was gonna be about what to do if there is a strike. I also wanna let you know if a strike does happen, all your personal belongings in your locker, it's a good idea to take them home. I'm not gonna give you any tips on the strike since that might not happen yet, but we are dedicated here at The Clarion to bringing you full coverage. If a strike happens, we're gonna have live coverage there. But uh, we're going to hold tight and we're going to let you guys know as soon as an agreement is officially reached. And we're also going to let you know how the teachers vote. As always, this is Gibson Reedy coming at you live from Cleveland High, the Clarion News.